Yo guys, uh, it's your boy GC again. <laughs> yes, again. Again, this guy again. Get him off. Get this guy out of this channel, man. It's crazy, man. Oh guys, I forgot to tell you. I don't know if I already told you that I'm so happy that I got 100 subscribers. Man, it made my day. I was like, this is... There's a lot. Of, there's a little things in life that make me happy, but this is one of these things that made me happy. My woman can suck my dick, but this will not. It will never equal getting a hundred subscribers. Thank you guys and girls. You're the best. So keep watching. Subscribe. Share. Tell them SFM is fucking real. It's gonna get your ass. All the tricksters, all the women who are trying to destroy guys, their lives in relationships, trying to manipulate them, not not working for their own ass. They're going to get destroyed by this channel. We're going to destroy them. We're going to hunt them down. So, um, okay, guys. So, who am I? I'm the guy who is hunting these bitches who are destroying guys, their lives, um, not w wanting to work for themselves and just want to get you stuck in a relationship working for sex day in day out and i'm here to stop them i'm the bad man who uh yeah who is committed for the rest of his life so uh wh how am i doing this well i'm doing that by uh pff, this channel with the hundred subscribers working on this app pad boy inspiring the youth with uh with this great app teaching them to, to, ch to catch the, how to catch the attractive woman in some kind of a card game you should Check it out and also tracking down the attractive woman because you should definitely hunt down the most attractive woman, catch them, lock them up, put a ring on it and, you know, continue with your life. And I'm going to help you with it. And uh, definitely um, it's not going that easy. So <laughs> that's the truth. Uh, and go to private men. If you're a youngster and you want to learn how to gain, uh, you know, experience with women and relationship set up when it comes to with money involvements um, you should definitely this is this is something it opened my eyes if i hadn't do this i wouldn't have what i wouldn't go for, i wouldn't have any of it because i was good but not that good and i'm still not that good because i mean women are always better because we have we have to approach them that's the biggest problem we always have to approach them there's so many but the good thing is we can approach them we can always approach them. For us, it's a way. For guys, it's so much easier to approach women. Man, it's crazy. If you if you see women, man, woman could woman have uh, don't have the benefit of the doubt when they approach a guy. You know, because women are like not in this offensive mode. They are not offensive. Guys can be offensive. It's attractive. For women, it's not that attractive. There are guys talking about it online, like, yeah, yeah, you should approach guys. You, But for guys, it's intimidating. Like, woman approaching me? What the fuck? But for women, it's like, oh, the guy approached me. Wow, I should be... Apparently, I'm really attractive. So it's always good. If you approach women, it's always good. And um, you should you should take it when you're a youngster. And I'm still taking it. Now, I'm taking it, but I'm working on this app. And I'm, Anyways, I will, I will, I'm still doing, but I will get out there, guys, definitely. But now let's keep to the channel and keep to the subject of this damn video. You want to hear what it's about. Five reasons why you should never, ever give up your own place, even when you get together with a woman, marry and start a family. I don't give a shit. Don't give up your own fucking place. Tremble, make the, make the ground shake, motherfucker. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Guys are doing it. They're getting destroyed. They're getting killed. I have so many friends getting in this difficult position with women in one house having headaches from here to Tokyo, not being able to communicate normally with me in any situation other than talking about their girlfriend, their kids, their stress, their problems, their jobs, and I'm just getting tired of them. And I'm just like, I'm not going to hang out with you anymore. You're just fucking tired. Don't do it. From my own experience, uh, I noticed the benefits when comparing it, like I said, with other guys, because I definitely, I got my own place and we got a place and I got another place, which I put out for rent. So I'm not going to give up any of it. I mean, fuck it. I mean, why would I? I mean, do you want to, I mean, you, I mean, a kid's life is a kid's life. A woman's life is a woman's life. I'm not going to make some mixture of a woman, man and a woman's life and being the guy that's a family guy. If you feel like 
it's good and you tell me please share share your opinion this is an open this is an open topic you could also tell like well it's great man i love it man i love fucking the same woman all day and i love being at home and listen to her and serving her and i don't know i'm just making fun of it but please do please share from my experience please don't five goddamn good oops what's my language reasons um why you should keep your own place so let's go number one you can always retreat, retreat to your own place. You can always retreat to your own place. The place is of your own taste. The place has your own music. You can play it as loud as you want. You can see the friends that you want. You can go to bed whenever you want. You can fart as much as you want. You can sleep as long as you want. You can fuck whoever you want. I mean, you can drink alcohol as a motherfucker. You can smoke and sleep at the same time. You can do the same the stuff you always wanted to do, and you can't keep doing it. How great is that? You, you, I mean, that's number one. Number two, you are not totally depending on the same stock. You have your own insurance. Like if you if you if you if if you go all in, and you lose your property, man. You gotta discuss every shit with her when it comes to your personal situation. It's not your situation anymore, it's our situation. <laughs> yeah, our situation. I mean, you should be insane if you're really thinking about it. If you really think <laughs> if you're really thinking about that, man, you either are fucking loaded and you can miss you can I mean you don't give shit about money, or you're broke as fuck. And you got nothing to lose. I mean, I don't, I don't see any other logical explanation for doing stuff like that. Um, you, you should, you should, you should, you should keep your own depend, depending on your own situation in case of emergencies, other stuff that happens that you have your own retaliation plan and you're not putting your family or woman at risk. You have alternative plans which involve your 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 expertise from your own place that's what i would recommend um there's a difference in the life of a man who is going out and preparing for hunt and making his success and he's in another environment which might bring more risks than having a family home so it depends on what kind of life you would what you would what you would, what you wouldn't want to live but um if you definitely want to go for the alpha position um it's not going to help you so number three in the relationship, you are not betting it all and putting all your synergies on the line. So in the relationship, also in the false, it has some consequences, you know, because in this relationship, this psychology of it is that the moment you give in, she knows like, I got you because you, you are the one also now depending on her. You need her. So she could use it against you in the relationship because she could even put more pressure on you right now getting you to do what she wants you to do you know yeah i want to i want to play soccer with my friends it's like no you have to be in at 10 because the kid needs to sleep i just making up something you know what i mean so she could come up with all kinds of different excuses because you're fed up but you're just in the same place i mean she could she could use anything if it wasn't enough she could also what she was already was doing like today i get a headache so you're not gonna get laid i mean it could all get different stuff you know she could start manipulating you and just tracking your ass like, oh, you weren't you weren't at home last night, so where were you? You're like, why do I have to explain? Well, because we're living at the same place, and if you want to keep living with me, you gotta you gotta tell me where you, where you were. Well, I'm gonna say something like that, and you're like, okay, well, I can't leave you because otherwise I don't have a place to live and gonna gonna, gonna give me a lot of headaches, and that's why you stick. So you're just stuck. You can't go if you got your own place. Nobody sees what you what the fuck you're doing. That's what I just told you. So don't let that be used against you. Four. Do not fully rely that what you create together it will make you more depending on this relationship. And so what I'm trying to say here is that when you when you really put it together in the same place, you're building a future, right? So you're building this mixture of a house, mixture of a car mixture of a garden it's all like this mixturing blend and i mean if you're still in development of your own life as a man y y 
you shouldn't you shouldn't give that up. I mean, you should you should keep developing and be MG Tao, men go their own way, build your own empire first. If you feel like at some point you could give in and make this blend like I'm doing now, I, I don't believe it's necessary to give up your own place. I mean, it's a different life. I mean, when you look at a, a family home, um, you can really make it a family home. You, you, you don't have to put any expectations of the future, how you want to expand it for yourself. It's all will all be of extra effort. Like, yeah, I want a gaming room. It's all going to be in discussion. You should just keep your own place. And there's the gaming room. And then, well, then she has to visit you when you're at your place or you just have to find a way. I mean, that's, I mean, life is about finding solutions, but not making stupid decisions, right? So why would you? I mean, in my, in, for my opinion, stupid decisions. Five, I already said it. I think I already no noticed it. It's you're just cock blocked for the rest of your life and you will never invite women privately again unless you end the relationship. So that means that she's just blocking your cock because she's sitting on your ass, like sitting on eggs, tracking your ass, tracking your phone, tracking your check in and check out times. When you have your own place, you're not gonna be cock blocked and how good is that? I'm not saying the woman will run up to your cock and start sucking it because it will never happen. It never happened unless they're like, there's a catch. Um, but the feeling is great. It all, it just gives you the feeling you're a man. And if you somehow get the opportunity to fuck a woman, you can do it without any problems of cheating, having troubles or not doing it it feels like you're incompetent that you cannot invite i, I mean I, I mean this is maybe the, the 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 monogamous way and maybe the guys who will understand this are like yeah maybe i'm not the mono monogamous guy if you feel like okay this guy makes some sense share it if they feel like this guy makes totally no sense share it as well it's an open conversation i like to I like to put it in uh, in the open and talk about it as there's there's not not much discussion about it and that's really sad that's really sad because um, I hear a lot of sad stories of men who are uh, uh, experiencing difficulties in their relationships due to this kind of stuff and they're not telling it to their girlfriends and they're they're trying to cheat and they're not even successful so it's crazy it's insane so that's why i'm just saying it it's just, it's just the truth okay guys and girls uh, i hope you enjoyed the episode and definitely i hope to see you in the next one because i'm sharing something new and great again and uh for now take care out there huh, with the coronavirus and uh, we'll be seeing each other soon take care uh -huh.